What's going on guys? This is Critical Failure here with another video game artifact. This is the Ancient Art of War at Sea. I found this game at the, th at the uh, thrift store. It actually had a rubber band around it and it was placed with the board games. So I don't even think they bothered to open it up to find out that it was a, uh, in fact, an IBM Tandy computer game. Look at that screenshot, oh my goodness. This was actually a sequel to a game simply called The Ancient Art of War, which my old man had. And for a computer game from the thrift store, this is in great shape. Hey, power's back on. All right, and we will proceed, <laughs> proceed as normal. Look at this instruction manual by Dave and Barry Murray. They don't do manuals for, uh, for computer games like this anymore. They don't do manuals for any game like this anymore. This is more of a strategy uh, guide kind of thing. Also, for the games of this time, the screenshots are, are in really great shape as well. Old PC games, high complexity. One of, one of the, the prominent uh, game th design theories of the time was to increase replay value. You just made it complex as all hell. Um, and here we see the discs. Now, I don't know if these work or not. They look like they're in great shape. I don't even want to pull these out of the sleeve to look at them, to be honest. They look like they're in great shape, but a lot of discs from, uh, you know, from this time simply have aged and don't work anymore. The uh, rust particles or whatever they used to store the memory have just gone kaput. On the upside, this particular game, the data for this game is found readily available on the internet. Here we have installation. Chance to win free software! Oh yes, this is a questionnaire. I know Broderbund software is gone now, but they did they did Load Runner and a couple others. Let's see. Yes, send me a free catalog from the latest. Set. I would love to see this catalog. And they're gone now, so here's what I paid for it. Boom. Um, and I am gonna switch over to footage of the the software package found on the internet, so that I can leave these discs untouched. Let's take a look at what the game looks like. This is the Ancient Art of War at Sea. Um, let's see. Make, make changes. What kind of changes can we make? Ah, there's Campaign Maker. Change campaigns. Um, what is that? Oh, this is a uh, an ad for the original, I guess. And I really do appreciate the... Um, the campaign editor, or rather I did when I was much younger. This is what we're looking at. Here we have a body of water and the white units as you can see here. This is one of mine and wow all these black units are theirs. So I, <laughs> I have to assume oh boy, we've got a couple of places on top. I guess I'm trying to dodge the ships. There's no way I can be expected to fight all these. So um, this thing traces the path that I want to sail on, and then I hit M to start sailing there. Let's speed up time. You can see him circling around like I did. Oh, they're all racing for it. All right. Let's see, let's drop time. White crown captured in the northeast. You lost. <laughs> All right. So this is the ancient art of war. Running the gauntlet. Come on, there's got to be one where I can uh, get some fighting done. Okay. Yeah, this is the one I, I, I did the last couple times I played this game. I've got... Um, Six ships on the left, five on the right, and we're at the bottom here. If you go up towards the top, uh, we've got uh, a whole mass of of, uh, of of their ships. And we have a black crown right here. So I imagine if I just get one of my ships up to that black crown, should be fine. Um, so what I'm going to do, let's get one of these ships, and we will... Hoping is that there will be a battle. Um, let's just watch him go. Sail, little ship, sail. Alright, 
Can't be too long now. There's my little white ship. Okay. White crown captured. I didn't even know I had a crown. Uh. Alright, that's enough of this game. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.